Hey guys, so that video you just saw was uh, Bob Dole's casket leaving the funeral parlor, which is just up the road, and making its way to the U.S. Capitol. Uh, I didn't show it to you yesterday because I had put it on like a, a camera that I had set up on the outside, and I didn't remember it until this morning. Oops, so anyway. Uh, so, busy day today. I went down to the National Cathedral to film the motorcades arriving for the Bob Dole Memorial Service. Uh, then we went down to the National Mall where they had another memorial service. Uh, there were mega motorcades today, cars, cars, but I didn't really get that good a view inside. A little bit of glint off the sun, but I'll show you what I got. That's the DC Police Falcon. That's not Eagle, that's Falcon. And that's the DC Police Department. He is doing loops around the cathedral as part of the security. I think in part because Park Police is on a carjacking chase in another part of town or out in the suburbs. So this is the uh, cathedral. This is where Bob Dole will be brought in and taken right to the front door. The dignitaries will arrive on the side doors generally. It's a bit safer. Yo. This is all the Government types are on This is where they check uh, check passes. It's a lot. Over here is one of uh, three schools that exists on the uh, cathedral grounds. All of those kids have been kicked out today. <laughs> They're all doing online learning rather than in-person learning. So they didn't want the kids running around the cathedral with all the security and whatnot. We've got some police cars coming up. These could be route scouts. It is a route scout. Oh, it's escort for the Congress. So this is going to be a bus full of congressmen, probably, or other VIP delegates. Yes, U.S. Capitol Police vehicles. So. There go all the congressmen and senators and other distinguished guests. It's going to be the first of several of those. There's a Christmas tree farm, a well, Christmas tree stand. Some of you are asking about trees here, mostly Fraser fir. Frasers um, are the most common Christmas tree in Washington, D.C. Fraser fir. Then I think probably Douglas fir. Um, there are a few white pines. I got a weird tree this year. I don't know what it's called, to be honest. It starts with a C, and it's like a, it's like a hybrid sort of thing. It looks kind of like a pine, but it's kind of got the firmness of a Fraser. I don't know. Personally, I don't really like Frasers. And I buy... I try to buy white pines or scotch pine or Douglas fir, whichever one doesn't hurt, whichever one the needles don't hurt. <laughs> so this is the Greek Orthodox Church and this is one of their fundraisers.
Okay, so motorcades are in the cathedral and we got about an hour of memorial services and whatnot. So I figured, hey, let's go for a hike. We're actually we're just, we're just across from the vice president's place. It's right over there. And this is going to take me down into a really, really posh neighborhood of Washington, D.C. I mean, if your neighborhood has like a park in the front door, a national park in the front door. Yeah, it's posh. <laughs> so that was a mixed motorcade, the vice president and president. Uh, I didn't see the vice president, which was interesting is that I think the vice president's limo was empty. I think she was moved into the first vehicle. I'm going to have to watch the uh, replay from a second camera and see if I can see any better with that one. But uh, that kind of surprised me a little bit. And I think one of these, maybe it's the next block, is the Australian ambassador. Diplomat's house, three fridges. Another big house. That's it over there. That, if I recall, that's the Australian ambassador's house. That big one right up there. The entrance is actually on the other side. And over here is a lawn tennis court. One of the, I think it's the only lawn tennis court in Washington, D.C. Street of my own. Oh, yep, yep. Grass tennis court. Pretty impressive. They got a truck on the route. Freaking out. They're holding the motorcade.
Hey guys, we are flying, and I mean flying, down to the National Mall, trying to get to the World War II Memorial. I don't know if we're gonna make it on time. The motorcade passed me about 10, 15 minutes ago. And despite all my pedal power, <laughs> I can't, I just can't go as fast as a police escorted uh, vehicle. But we're gonna try to see this special ceremony at the World War II Memorial just up ahead. Now there's the motorcade. So I, I knew I didn't beat the motorcade. Let's see if we can uh, see the ceremonies. It is so heartening and wonderful to see so many of you come out to honor our friend, a great American treasure. And on some cold mornings, his seemed a one-man mission to honor those journeys and to stand in solidarity with those who could never make them. Bob Dole never forgot them. Never. And if he was here today, the mention of those coins in a cigar box would reduce him to tears. There are many great lessons to take away from Bob Dole's life. Go to the other guy's office so you can decide when the meeting is over. Get up and walk out. They were friends of the family. Speak straight, even in when it gets you in trouble, because it will. But at least everyone will know how you stand and what you stand for. And always plan not just to win, but win big. Thank you, Savannah and Tom, for those kind words. And Senator Elizabeth, I think Senator Bob probably heard you when you said, let there be sun, right? So there you go. Perfect timing. He heard your prayer. I want to welcome everyone here, and I want to particularly welcome anyone who served in the Second World War. Are there any World War II veterans here today? Someone hasn't eaten all day. Someone is starving. Hi. A hot dog and a Diet Pepsi, the you know? Sounds like a motorcade, but I'm too busy with my hot dog and soda. Maybe next time. As we're on the uh, South Lawn, or out the Ellipse, across from the South Lawn. Just gonna take a look at the Christmas tree, walk around the other side, and then I'm probably gonna go home and edit up this video. Got a lot of stuff to film. There's a good view of the North Portico, or the uh, Truman Balcony.
motorcade or a forklift truck coming out. I kind of hear motorcycles, but I'm not sure. There is a construction vehicle on the south lawn. <laughs> on paper, this is just the first lady's motorcade, but there's a lot of motorcycles. Here we go. wasn't just a first lady motorcade. I didn't expect the vice president because she had a three o'clock appointment. So a bit of a surprise to see the vice president leaving this early, especially since she had a three o'clock appointment, uh, swearing in a new ambassador, I think the Turkey. Anyway, I guess that was her on the way out of town way to our house. Let's go over here. Excuse me. And there's a, uh, I know you guys always love moving truck stories. There are some movie trucks or some panel vans. I don't know what you call them. Big white trucks. Yeah. There's three of those out here on Pennsylvania Avenue. It looks like they're waiting clearance to go inside. Oh, there's one inside here. CMTRA Transport. CMT Transport. So, some delivery coming in. Oh, that's right. The Vice President is having guests. They're opening the Naval Observatory to children for Christmas. They're having like a thing. Okay, so here you go. Big trucks arriving. Now, a lot of you guys get really excited when you hear about moving trucks at the White House, but I try to point out, I see this kind of thing regularly. Um, you know, once a week is not uncommon. Even more than that, deliveries, catering, documents, who knows. The White House doesn't really have a loading dock that I know of, like most modern office buildings. So they just go in the front door. It could be setting up for like a Christmas party. Doesn't they have like the correspondence dinner coming up? The White House Christmas correspondence dinner? I'm not sure about that. Oh, he's going over to the east one. He's going over by that tent. That tent looks like a security screening tent they set up or something like that. And I suspect they're setting up for some sort of dinner.
Kicks out again. That Pennsylvania Avenue is shut down. <laughs> we can still go to the park, but they won't let us in here. Mm, not sure why. It's nothing on the public schedule, but such is life. There it is. crazy day. Lots of motorcades, even a little Marine One at the end. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. Please subscribe if you haven't. We'll be back again this weekend showing you what's up in Washington. It's going to be 70 degrees. Right now I'm going down the street, grab some dinner, and uh, I'm done. Bye-bye. <laughs>